You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a boozy Oh why me, oh why me 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 Such a powerful woman. Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl, or oh, I mean, she was all aka Miss Via Focal. Reverting back for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me, I'm definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly oh mommy. Now, my ninjas, if you are new definitely welcome you know please do subscribe as i said i am the blogger the blog about so you have definitely come to the right place we're very unprofessional here we are professional sometimes but majority of the time i ship <laughs> we laugh we burp we 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 I, everything we do our hair you know so i feel like i'm gonna be looking a bit homeless a bit hard boyish because <laughs> i just woke up guys literally i just woke up and i don't even have my ages done but i obviously had to come out here and obviously do this video because i woke up and my dms were flooded okay now i've got three videos that are out please make sure that you go watch all of them guys i worked throughout the night okay to make sure that those videos come to you but i think that the algorithm kind of like might be fighting with the whole scheduling you know so yeah i think i'm gonna have to find a different way but please do go and watch all the videos that i uploaded today i worked super hard on them so please please make sure that you go and you watch them but anyway ninjas let's go and get into this chandy we'll be all night oh, mm, oh, drunk drunk and love oh, 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 oh. now as Mr. Leroy is a zombie, not out here confessing his love for Michali Namazeshi Babam K. Um, now, at this point, obviously, the unfortunate part about it is that they had a song that was playing in the background and it was very, very loud. I will try and get maybe a few clips or a clip that you guys can be able to watch just for you guys to kind of see the atmosphere and everything. And then I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Um, so, it's my beautiful wife. Now ninjas, obviously you guys heard that. Um so little is dumb. I'm sure maybe I'll also try um and just you know kind of like distort the sound a bit so that obviously doesn't pick up and copyright but oh mr leroy sidambe is out here saying that he actually loves michelle right which obviously is as expected i don't think that anybody at this point does not know that leroy really loves michelle okay because number one from what we hear he don't leave his wife okay the the second thing he came out here publicly threw his wife under the bus for michelle you guys do remember that statement that he came out and he actually spoke about it so at this point i i i personally or rather let me say that he threw his wife under the bus in my personal opinion based off of the statement that he basically had to come out and say after he did see that you know there was a lot that was going on online after even michelle's address was leaked by musa kaula and everything and so he did try to come out and defend michelle but at the same breath oop, his wife under the bus in my personal opinion okay um so we all know that he loves her but uh, did i see this one coming absolutely not it looks like leroy is drunk okay it does look like he's actually drunk um and he's confessing his love to michelle now i'm gonna go ahead and just read you guys some of the tweets that are actually here so this person by the name of sanelenkosi said leroy sidambe expresses his love for his wife michelle namaze and goes on to say people misinterpreted their relationship because michelle is the one who financially takes care of him okay and then it continues um 
this uh, so with this um somebody called Ntando says I know when a brother is running from SARS plus people already think Mijali is a multimillionaire so it's a perfect uh, cover up okay um then the highest authority says shout out to my beautiful wife okay that is actually in codes ring ikai utori bora um so fruh ka imaginary wife banna basile if anything could happen or he passes on michali won't even sit on the mattress nobody will recognize her we are watching this nigga turn her into a wife just on twitter okay um now obviously it continues that people that are talking about like secondhand embarrassment for michali and 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 Personally, for me, I don't say anything embarrassing. Like towards Michelle, I'll be honest with you. Like if, let's say, you know, like my man got drunk and got on a live and he was confessing his love for me, like I wouldn't be embarrassed. I don't know, but again, right, different levels, right? Maybe somebody that is in Michelle's category or level would get that embarrassment. I don't know in what way. Um, but me personally, I really honestly would not be right. I think that the only thing for me that kind of like I felt it a bit was the fact that obviously we all know that Mich uh, Leroy is a married man, right? He, his wife and him, obviously they are separated. And so at this point, what the, the newspapers are actually saying or alleging is that number one they're still fighting over a range rover that leroy bought for her and then um um you know uh when i guess the separation was happening it seems like leroy took the car there were allegations that the car was given to michelle but michelle has come out and she has actually refused that so we do not know i have definitely seen her in a car that looks like a range rover but i don't know if it's that range rover she baby okay so i don't know that's the first thing the second thing there's also allegations that are saying that the wife is out here saying that she needs a hundred thousand rent um monthly spousal allowance and then with the allegations that came out um from what i read it seemed like the defense was that if only roy can afford to do all this extravaganza things for michelle then he should be able to afford to can actually pay that so right now if obviously i guess maybe not this way i didn't hear well because obviously language and on top of that he seemed to be slurring in a way plus the the, the, the background music was really honestly loud um but if people are saying that he's now claiming that um michelle is the one taking care of him do i believe that no no because the, the 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 way that this relationship was exposed it was exposed by a, a receipt and a receipt which seemed like Leroy was the one that actually purchased furniture for Michelle so would things have just changed immediately now i don't see that but do i think that Michelle is the one that is taking care of Leroy i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so maybe um now that they are actually you know trying to go into maybe his finances and stuff because um if the wife is saying that she wants a hundred thousand rands and Leroy says that he cannot afford it they definitely have to go into the banks into the banks honey okay they have to go into those banking details and they have to go to those balances they have to go to both business and personal they have to go um to like how the money is being spent and then they're able to be like okay you know what we will be able um to actually cover cover up this or we'll be able to actually do this or actually do that you know so for me i personally just do not believe that michelle is the one that is taking care of leroy i do know that michelle obviously she is a, a rich hand she does make her own money however from the things that we have seen do you guys even remember the house that um you know Ul Ulroy and michelle were there like dressed um, almost identical as how Leroy had dressed with Mary Jane who is his soon to be ex-wife um the house ain't belonging to no poor uh, broke nigga okay so I don't know I don't know but I really honestly truly don't believe that let's talk about him calling her his wife um I guess it's cute you know maybe that's him wanting to tell the world that he's definitely going to marry her but she's not married yet from what we know girl ain't even engaged yet so maybe he should start off by just going and buying that engagement ring and then call her his wife and again legally are you allowed to have two wives legally so it's either maybe he's going to marry her 
through customary because for me the way that i see that mary jane sidambe is out there um swiftly moving i doubt this divorce is gonna be finalized anytime soon that's just me and my vendor eyes okay look at this i don't see this divorce actually getting finalized anytime soon um i feel like there's gonna be even more demands that may actually be made um and that might actually hinder certain situations um so yeah i think that the only person that i felt for a bit would be the wife because it does seem like she got left it's not like she left you know so like imagine like your husband that now left and now he's publicly i'm um, actually out there and confessing his love to his mistress um or the, the woman that allegedly is the one that actually bricked you yeah i would feel some sort of way i guess if i've not moved on anyway but as for him out here confessing his love to me, Shali, I think that, you know, that, that's actually that's actually nice. For me, I, I, I wouldn't mind it, you know, uh, unless I'm trying to hide you. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> unless your face has never been out there and nobody knows you is the one, like, keep your face away because no face, no case, honey, okay? But if everybody already knows, like, this is my man, I really honestly would not mind, you know. Um, yeah, I would not mind. But, yeah, as I said, I'm quite surprised to um, actually see Leroy um, looking that way, in a, almost in a way that he looks drunk you know um i did get a dm from someone man a while back and she was like hey ninja did you see little is now accepting people and i'm like well i definitely have not gotten that acceptance i've been blocked by michelle for years so i guess even from him i can't get that acceptance but i have tried also with my fake account so i guess maybe fake accounts are also not being accepted because i've not gotten an in there however at least we've got people that are in there that are able to screen record and bring that information out for us so Danko Sia Sia Bong. Okay. I do want you guys to actually go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation. With what do you say with people that are actually clowning uh, our Roy of the fact that he's calling Michelle his wife whilst he has not made her a wife, from what we know. That's the first thing. What do you think of um you know the allegations that Michelle is the one that is actually taking care of Leroy financially? And number three, would you be embarrassed or embarrassed if your man, who is the love of your life, is out there on IG drunk and convincing his love for you? Personally, I wouldn't. I wish I had actually seen, you know, maybe the full live. Um, but anyway, the clip that we got that would be enough. Maybe notices or accept you, or even if it's by fake account, um, sometime soon. But anyway, ninjas, as I said, please do go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation. From Wami Ninja Bajaro, I love you guys so much. Please do not forget to go and watch those other videos, guys. Please. And um, yeah, man, I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye, ninjas.